Okay, Akumaldo Crypto here. Today we have our Bitcoin update. Here is my Twitter handle. If you haven't followed me yet, please consider doing so. I'm gonna put my link here down below in the, in the description of the video. Okay, I'm gonna present two different scenarios for Bitcoin. Okay, one is a bullish one and an alternate count of, of, for a bearish count, yes. So, um, what I have, uh, what I have, the way I have labeled here, we would have finished this whole correction here, this whole wave here down as a tree, okay? And then we would need to put, we would need to correct a little down further, or perhaps a truncated fifth wave, or perhaps a double bottom to finish this one, two, three, four, five, okay? And what we would have here is uh, wave four. However, we haven't, uh, we haven't touched, not, not even touched the 30, 80, 20%, which is a desired spot for wave four. I'm gonna erase some of the, some of the information here. So then it's a little bit clear to see, okay? And here is this um, this Fibonacci retracement. Uh, what it is? Yes, I think is this is the one. Yes. Okay. So I, uh, in my in my Twitter I has posted I have posted that those are the ladder option. The, the, those are the short options if you are considering shorting it. Yes. And Bitcoin is like going a little bit sideways we had here if we go uh, on the on a higher time frame I'm, I'm sorry if you zoom in you see that you have like a almost three uh, three top uh, triple top here right trying to break this region of 6635 just kind of a, a problem right not a lot of uh, not a lot of uh, encouragement for the for the for the bulls but nevertheless i do have a bullish count okay even th i'm sorry even if we consider this a bearish count if we really go down really go down like here um the bullish count and the bearish count they they don't differ a lot okay this would be an ending diagonal okay would be our ending diagonal fifth wave okay ending diagonal and then we would go up okay there is no way out there is no other way to go unless we consider different uh, alternate counts for the whole structure of the bitcoin in higher time frames so uh, this is one hour chart. I don't know if I have mentioned it already, but yes. So I, 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 I'm a little bit inclined to not be following this count any longer. Why not? Uh, we need to bear in mind, uh, we, we need to consider, uh, uh, let me rephrase it. Um, we need to take into account that perhaps we are going to go down really hard. Okay, but I don't think that the exchanges, the miners, the people that holds the money, the people that controls the, the Bitcoin the most, I don't think they want it to go below this lower low here. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> this was our, um, this is the lowest low of the year, 5700, right? We almost touched it again. We almost had a double bottom, but they defended it really hard. See, every time we almost touch it, we have a strong reaction, and buyers just bought the heck out of it. And then we had a, a dump. Of course, this is oh people taking advantage of this this buy people that bought here selling here. This is all about profits almost hitting again but no the buyers didn't see the volume here the buyers didn't um, 
didn't let it happen, didn't let it go lower. So this is our pivot point here, our pivot low. We need to consider it. If you don't like Elliott waves, you need to consider these points here, these weeks. Where where are they going? Where they where they are trying to go? Because this, if it's a week, they had a reaction. Okay, they had had a reaction, and we have a pullback. Okay, um, in this case, a pullback in the case of this region here, for example, which is a, a really nasty region. This uh, six eight hundred, right? This region here. If we go and look. You don't need to cons we don't need to use Elliott waves, but just mark it like I have here a yellow line here. You see this yellow line here, six eight, six eight hundred, six eight hundred sixty. This is a a really strong uh, region for Bitcoin resistance. See resistance. Try to to get there, failed. Okay, double top here, almost double top. If we go back here again, acting as a support break, a break, it broke below it, then acting as a resistant, as a resistance, 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 and then it has act as a resistance uh, since June 11th. Okay, so that's what we need to consider. If we are going to go up and break this resistance and go to 7k we need to first of all we need to break this resistance with volume and with confidence yes and then and only then we can consider a bullish scenario that is what i'm presenting here okay this is what i have as a bullish scenario oh it's a scary chart because we have a pitchfork but let's see let's dig in um, here I have my I have my lowest low of the year. Yes. Here I have uh, the same one, the same, uh, the same, uh, the, the same, the same one, two, three, four, five. But I finished my one, two, three, four, five here instead of having a three here, putting a four here. And then going another leg down. I, we, we finished our uh, ending diagonal here. Okay, it's a wave five ending diagonal here. Our ending diag is finished here. Our fifth wave, and then reaction, right? And then I drawn this pitchfork using this pivot high, pivot low here. There I have a my one, two, my two almost. Uh, invalidated because as I presented in, a, in the other chart it almost touched again the this 5700 but it failed to do so then we had this strong this is strong I'm sorry this is strong reaction our wave three four and five hitting the median line all the times hitting the median line means that it it's it has it it has a uh, it has potential to be a, a impulse wave, right? To be a bullish wave instead of a, a bearish correction. Yeah. So now we would be, we would have but our leading diagonal one, two, three, four, five wave one, and we would have on our A, B, C correction. We would go as low as six two hundred, perhaps six one hundred. Okay, that's what um, that's what I am leaning towards to. Okay, why? Because of this pivot low seems to me to be a really strong resistance to break down below it. If it break down here, this is another story. I'm not saying that I'm bullish. I'm saying that for the short term, I see this as a better possibility, and that's what I'm presenting. Okay, this wave three, we need to break this resistance that I said previously. We will need to break this 6800. Okay, we will need to break this. We need to put in this A, B, C. Okay, here I put the 200 in my pitchfork configuration. I put my 200. <coughs> Again, sorry. <coughs> my 200. 
Um, and the, the two would like be nicely uh, confluent. It would, we would have a confluence here, our C and our two, 50%. But we have a lot of interest, price interest in this region here. Why? Because this region here is where we have the resistance. Okay? This is why I marked here. Okay? I marked here. This point here is really important. Whether we go up or down, it's, it's, uh, it's up to this point here. If we break up here with considering four hours charts okay we are in a four hour chart if we break up and we break this 200 ema resistance you see that the 200 ema is now a resistance they try to break above it and reaction break above it and reaction we're not we are now below the 200 ema and testing the 21 ema that's the the blue line ish here uh, the blue line let me make it thicker this is our one this is our 21 55 and 100 dma okay so see we have a little bit of a squeeze here bet uh, between the 100 dma and the 55 and the 21 ema is acting as a support okay we have we have a bit of a squeeze here uh, and this is nice okay if we break down here to our wave C and we go up, yes, we need to break this region here. It remains to be seen. Yeah? But what we have here, it's, a, it's a, a, a possible cross of the uh, 100 DMA and the 55 DMA. And then perhaps a cross of the breaking the 200 EMA and going up, okay? That it, that remains to be seen. Like I said, this is a bullish this is a bullish count, but in the short term, okay? Um, we do need to consider the the whole picture, though. Yes, the whole picture would be what? The whole picture. Yes, we have this chart here. Yes, this chart here doesn't make sense. I have presented this chart here, but I'm leaning towards a different one here. Yeah. I don't think it's a triple bottom anymore. Yes, we we need to consider that we are not right. Most of the time we are not right. We are trying to to nail it. We are trying to to make our best, but we are learning as a community as a community how to to deal with cryptos okay cryptos are not a common asset and a, a really younger one so it's different than stock markets it's, it's different the way that we apply the indicators and the way that we apply at Elliott waves um, we need to adapt so this triple combo here perhaps perhaps I'm gonna change this chart here just to try to make a a broader picture I'm gonna put daily to make a, a zoom out picture of what we have in the daily chart okay in the daily chart as I said yesterday uh, we are pretty much bearish we had a, a double cross I'm sorry again this is loading as I said yesterday we had a double cross <clears throat> yes in June this is not uh, the end of the world um, sorry we are relatively low okay in the rsi which is uh, below 51 which which means a bearish market for the <clears throat> i'm sorry since may we are in this region now we are since may we we since may we have been trying to break the 50 50 rsi now we are in a 51 RSI, yeah, that, that could be a, a, we have plenty of room to go up, okay? We, we are in this region for a bit, a, a lot of time, I would say, yeah? Since June, like I, since May, I'm sorry, since May we are in this region here, going down, going down, going down. So we have room to go up in the RSI. <clears throat> 
So considering the count here that we have, I wouldn't say a triple combo, okay? Let's just short it again. It's always a good exercise, always, always. Oh, let's just remove all drawing tools. Okay, now we have a clean, a blank slate. There it is. Here we have our 20K, huh? 20K, the beautiful, the, the nice parabolic here uh, wave that lead us to the 20K. Okay, then we had a sharp correction. If you, had, if you have seen my previous video, I calculated it, I used my FIB retracement, this is almost 50% of the, of the wave, right? 50% of the re of a retracement, but you don't need to be a genius to know that 20k 20k here and then we go to 6k This is way more than this is like 25 75% uh, of retracement, right? If you consider the price Yes um, <clears throat> Not 75 but closer to it a lot of retracement sharp retracement and this is this is nasty. This is crazy, right? If you, okay, let's let's mark it. I will, as I mark it before, I say this is an A, A, B, C, B, and a C, a really deep C. We have different ways of marking it. I know, I am marking this way. Um, a, B, C would be the perfect correction. Yes, the 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 simplest correction. Uh, ABC uh, that we could label as a double combo. Okay, let's use a double combo. That would be our zero, our W, and then we need our X. Where would be our X? Here, X, as uh, as the rule says, X should be at least eighty percent of the of the previous wave would we should have at least 80% of retracement let me put the, the y here okay 80% if we calculate here we see that we 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 barely touched the 38 20% okay we would like to see at least 50% 80 80% 70 80 60% to be a, a, a to be by the book okay but this won't happen with with uh, with cryptos that's it, it it doesn't happen like by the book <clears throat> and then we would have a, um this is a failed impulse wave okay this is why the x in a, this means a failed impulse wave this would be an a b c or we have an alternate count this could be an a b a really deep b and then a c going on and it doesn't make any sense right b a b but then b is going on so then we have a b c b would be like here and then we would need to put up c x would yet to be finished yeah but this is this is a really crazy correction if we if we allow to that i don't know i don't like this i don't like this a b c this really shallow c Trun uh, this is a truncated C, no, not, not impossible, right? Not impossible. Let's see, A, B, C. Okay, to, to form our X. <clears throat> um, X is here. And then we would have an A. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a clear 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. B and C to finish our correction. Okay. This would imply that we have finished our connect, our correction. Is it impossible? Is it impossible? I don't think it's impossible, okay? I think that we have a lot of fear in the market now. Okay, we will need to have a price surge in order for this, in order to, to this make sense, to this prove itself because we have uh, plummeting in terms of uh, volume, volume. In terms of volume, uh, we have plummeting since uh, since February, right? 
the, the volume has declining. So we don't have a lot of volume. We have like uh, people getting the money out of crypto, yes, and not putting it back. We it, so it's a it's a contender. This is a do we have a, do we have do you have every? Uh, I'm sorry again. This is so annoying. Sorry. X, Y. So we have an A, B, C. This is possible. This is a B. Uh, and then let's measure it. This is our A. This is our Fib extension. Okay. Yes, yeah, you see, hmm, sixty-one eighty percent. We, we, we haven't hit the one hundred percent. That would be forty-nine K. I'm sorry, 4900. We need to hit here, like 100% of wave A. This would mean that we have a truncated, a, sh a shallow wave C, and we would have a reaction here. So, th is this double combo possible? Yes, we have the, we have we have everything here, on the table, right? A B C, A B C. A, B, C, a longer, yeah, in time, a longer in time, A, B, C. An elongated A, B, C. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> yes, it's possible. And then we would start up perhaps um, uh, an impulse wave here, and then we would put another X. Why not? Right? This doesn't imply that our correction is over, guys. We might see this... Um, you might see this going up, this going up, this going up, and fla failing. Failing. Failing to go up, right? And then this would imply that we had... That that would imply that we would have a triple combo. That's why I'm considering that the triple combo is not in yet. Okay? This would imply if we have a really impulse wave here, people would be really happy, really happy. Oh... Let's buy Bitcoin, but then dump to put our Z, right? To put our final wave of the corrective structure, Z. If we consider that we have, um, let's just, just consider this is our Z. <laughs> okay, then we would have interest to go deeper here and to reach those levels. 4100, 3500, okay? That's possible, that's a possibility. We would have one, two, three, four, five here. Yeah, we would have a higher degree, one, two, three, four, five. But for some reason, this this doesn't go, this is stop here in a 50% of this first wave here. And then we go down, A, B, C. Okay, A, B, C, to complete our wave Z. Okay, this would be a triple combo. Okay, this is the daily chart, okay, guys? It's a possibility. It's not because we are going up here that we won't have a failed impulse wave. Considering, again, the amount of time that we have spent in this correction, which is not a lot, that's actually just a little bit 203 days uh, let me see 203 days right a little bit more now we are in the uh, july 7th so yes it's 204 days yes we have plenty of room remember that rule that i mentioned that i have mentioned in a previous video that we need to have at least 24 percent of the impulse wave correcting uh, the 24 percent of the time that we spent in the impulse wave we we should we we often spend the we often spend 24 percent of the time at least 24 24 percent of the time oh again i'm sorry 24 percent of the time at least in the corrective way in the corrective uh going down and oh, I'm sorry I lost my train <laughs> I lost my train of thoughts uh, I'm sorry 24% of the time that we spent in our wave 
in our impulse wave, we spent in this corrective uh, wave, and then in this corrective pattern, sorry. So it's not yet there, it's like 19% or something like that. Let me mute this here because it, 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 those are my alarms. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> okay. Um, that's why I'm saying that it's, it might be possible that we have a, a failed impulse wave considering this bullish scenario here. We might have a failed impulse wave and then we go down to finish our wave Z and then, only then, by perhaps next year, finish this whole correction, you know, by 2009, 2019, I'm sorry. Okay, let, let, let's just calculate here, 286, it's a little bit more of a one year, right? Let's put calculator, let's, let's see how much, how much is it? 386 divided by 1056, it's 36%. That would be great. We, we might finish earlier. We might finish by the end of the year. We might finish our, our this, this bearish market, this correction. I don't know. Or perhaps we finish it now. Okay, we never see this failed impulse wave. And we go up and we challenge this 20k. We go up and then, of course, we we would see higher highs. <clears throat> okay. I think it's enough for today. I think we had a, a good video. A good. Uh, I presented two different scenarios. I presented uh, uh, this whole picture. And if you like it, please subscribe here and write me comments and if you if follow me on twitter always a good thing to 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 uh keep updated which uh what i'm doing which uh what i'm saying the the shards and everything i have also my twitch here that i i do my live streaming and you can ask questions and i'm gonna answer and i'm gonna shard on the fly that's nice and as always enjoy your trades guys enjoy your trades <laughs> that's beautiful have a great weekend see each other in the next one bye bye